Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica. I am here with another combination plant haul and planting with Julian episode. So yesterday, Catherine and I went to Hollywood and ventured out to a different nursery. If you guys are interested in watching that, it is the video previously uploaded before this one. I did go ahead and purchase one plant and it was very interesting to see the plant purchase that I did make because my collection is so big. I'm to the point where I'm looking for a certain type of plants that are on my wish list, but this is something that I rarely do. I repurchased a plant that I killed last year. And the reason why I repurchased this plant before I go ahead and show you the plant is it's a very rare plant that I don't come across wherever I do my plant shopping and it's an expensive plant so last year i think i spent about twenty dollars for it which i thought was a really amazing deal it was the only one at the time and i scooped up the last one it died i think it was because i was gone for a couple of days per usual and it didn't like being in my patio so i think what i've learned from that is that this plant likes humidity and it should have been in my bathroom while I was away. So if you watch my bathroom plant tour collection for 2018, a lot of my plants live in my bathroom because it likes high humidity. And when I'm gone for a couple of days, that's just like the safest place for me to have them. This is an African mass. It's an alocasia and I absolutely love this plant. Now it's not as like vibrant with like maroon on the bottom can see here um, as my previous one that I got last year and this is like half the size that my original one was at so like the one that I got was probably double the size of this so maybe three times bigger than this and really upset about killing that plant so now with this new purchased baby I am going to keep this one in my bathroom when I leave out of town but I absolutely love this plant as you can see there is new growth here and I picked this up for $10, which I think was an absolute steal. So I'm going to go ahead and plant this up. And I think while I have it here, I'm going to just plant it up right now. I have an empty terracotta planter. And I did paint a bunch, not a bunch, three planters. I don't know if it's going to be in today's Planting with Julian episode uh, with white spray paint that I had just kind of sitting in my potting bench. But I have a taller terracotta here that was just posted up on my potting bench ready to be repotted for another plant. So as you can see, it is root bound here starting. And I'm going to go ahead and maybe just loosen it up a little bit and then get it into this planter and it won't stay in here for too long because I'm probably going to want to put it in a bigger planter but for now I want to just stick it in here have it in a breathable planter I will be going to Arizona in two days so I will be packing after I film two videos today I'm going to film another one after this if I have time so I wanted to just make sure I get this in my bathroom before I leave in a terracotta planter so as you can see there's like two uh, plants in here I could easily propagate it if I wanted to and get another plant but I love the fullness of how it looks right now and I think for ten dollars you know repurchasing a plant that I previously killed is not that bad another one that I will if I ever repurchase again a maiden hair I killed both of mine and now I know it can't live in my patio it has to live in my bathroom like all of my ferns well not all of my ferns because I have a bunch that is doing really good in my patio anyway off topic this will definitely live in my bathroom when I'm away I think this looks really cute what do you guys think I think that's perfect I'm gonna set this aside so next thing I want to do is plant up my Senecio raindrop which I shared in a plant haul I think I filmed yesterday and then we're gonna put it in of course my favorite fern pot this is a four inch I still have a bunch we'll see how quick I go through all of them but for now I still have a bunch left hanging out in my patio this is my favorite style of terracotta and I did paint up a white one here with leftover paint that I had uh, we'll see what I end up using this with but for now I think I want to put this one into a terracotta planter so here's the roots not that bad let's see here will it look cute in a white planter hmm we'll see I think I kind of like it in terracotta I'll save that one for something else 
put a little bit of soil here and then get this in here and then I'm going to slowly press this down sometimes I like to use the end of my toothbrush for this to get really in there and get it nice and grounded and then I should actually get my small little shovel or I can just sprinkle them throughout here and get it nice and compact in this planter let me know if you have this particular senecio string of raindrops uh, i think this is going to look super cute next to my string of pearls which i actually have right here so i think they would look super cute together what do you guys think next to each other that one is in a white ice cream planter so i think this is going to be it for now at this one what do you guys think i love this short fern style planter so it'll live in this cute little short planter here so putting this on the side moving along to another repot i have these fire sticks from Catherine. thank you Catherine. and what i'm gonna do is slowly take it out let's see here all right so as we can see i was thinking that this was like multiple plants but this is just one and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna place it into the planter that kira got me so this is fire sticks that Catherine gave me as part of my birthday haul and then this is a planter that my other plant friend kira gave me for my birthday so this is i guess a birthday combination i'm gonna use the same soil that Catherine gave me here and let's go ahead and get this one nice and grounded in this planter and i anytime i have a planter that has like a cobalt blue and white print on it i like to put like a solid green pl um, plant solid green type of plant into the planter and i that's just kind of the vibe i like okay so i think this is going to be it for this guy that looks actually nice i'll have to text kira and Catherine a picture of this guy pot it up in its new home oh i think it's cute what do you guys think i think it's perfect so put this here on the side and i think i want to go ahead and now switch over to house plant soil so i do have my bin here which i didn't really use much uh filled with cactus succulent I'm soil switch it off to my tiffany blue bin and have house plant soil to do the rest of the video right. so this has been hanging on the hanging system that i have but this is the only plant that i don't have well besides my string of bananas i'm gonna have to figure something out for that guy so i have this hoya here i picked it up I want to say at one of my plant nurseries that I go to I don't know I don't know where I got this one I have to refer back to my videos so as you can see roots is not that bad and then I have a terracotta that I sprayed yesterday with my leftover paint in white and I'm just gonna place it in here I've been wanting it to be in a white planter for a while so now that I like sprayed that, I'm gonna go ahead and place this guy in here. And then let's go ahead and just add a little bit more soil in here to get it nice and compact. Let me know if you have this Hoya and has it bloomed for you. Um, I, I will have to do a Hoya collection soon because my Hoya collection is growing. And I'll have to figure out where this is going because I don't have any more macrame planters available but i think this would be so cute in a macrame okay i think i like it like that and then we'll just add a little bit more soil on this end okay, get it nice and compact okay what do you guys think I think it looks perfect in here and 
plant is not doing like I think it's doing okay out here in my patio I like to move my plants around so they get even distribution of Sun um, there is some growth here but this is the current condition of this Hoya and let me know what do you guys think of it in a painted terracotta this is the fern planter that I like the fern style and then I think I want to do one more plant and I think I'm going to do some shifting here so let's see here let me think let me think okay so what I want to do is I have this guy here and this is my marble queen pothos it's long and trailing but if you guys remember in my earlier videos probably last year this thing was living on my Tiffany blue table and it was nice and full now it's kind of like um I don't know I'm probably gonna have to like propagate it and get it full again but I think I want to fix him up and use this guy here for my begonias which I have right here so I'm thinking of putting these two begonias into here I'm gonna see what it looks like and then if not what I'm gonna do is like give this one give my marble queen potos a little love and we'll start making some decisions here so Kira got me these begonias for my birthday I don't have them and she bought me two so that I could put it in one big planter together and get it nice and full. So I just want to see like placement wise how this would look in here together. I think that looks really nice. So I don't know. I'm going to have to switch out my Marble Queen Potos and put it in something else. It just it looks really crazy. So what I'm going to do is now that I know that I like the look gonna go ahead and put some soil on the bottom get it a little bit higher and then place the begonia in here and let's see how I like placement I think I like it like this I think that looks that looks good what do you guys think and then I just go ahead and add soil The house is so quiet without Ebby and I am traveling every week from June, July, August, September, October. I'm traveling every week so she's in Las Vegas and I'll see her next weekend. I'll be going to Arizona in two days so I look forward to exploring new places. I'll be sharing that on my channel and I think that is going to be it for this guy so I just did a quick switch out and I think it looks better I think this plant looks like a lot better in this planter and then what I'm gonna do is figure out what I want to do with this guy here so as you can see there's parts of him that don't have any like any leaves and I will probably dedicate a whole nother video uh, redoing this plant but for now what I'm going to do is get him into a little smaller planter and I'll dedicate one video on this guy in the future fixing him up which would require me to propagate all of the scraggly parts into water propagation and then once it gets rooted up I can put it back in the same planter and make it nice and full again but we're not going to do that in this video because then it will be a very long planting with Julian. So I just have this plastic planter and I'm just going to leave it in here for now until I redo this plant and fix it up because there's I mean I think this part is the only scraggly part but then if you look here I mean it's really long I definitely think I could make it look a little bit better but we'll dedicate a whole separate video just on this guy but for now I just want to just put it in this 
planter and then deal with him in another upcoming video. He just, I don't know what happened. He, he's been going back and forth in my bathroom and in my patio. I wanted to see what was going on with the root system. I haven't touched this guy in a very long time. And even though he has a lot of new growth and he's trailing nice, I see some things that I would like to propagate off of him and just fix him up. So, it's kind of going a little crazy and wild. But I love me a good Marble Queen Pothos. This is such a fun, easy plant to propagate. As you can see, there's long trails. So I'm not mad at this plant. I just, it needs a little love. So for now, it'll stay in here until I dedicate a whole nother video on him. But I just wanted the planter that he was in dedicated to my begonias because I don't have another planter available in that size sitting in my potting bench. But this has a lot of new growth, so it's, it's doing fine. It's just not looking at its best. Put this on the side and move along. The last part of today's video is going to be planting up the cuttings that I got from Tanya. I do have a new cutting from Tanya. When I went over to her house the other day, we did more plant trays, but I didn't film that. And she ended up giving me this guy here, which is off of one of her big cacti in her cacti garden in the front of the house. And this piece was torn off by accident. I don't know. So she ended up giving me this guy here. I have my short terracotta planter here and I'm just going to plant it up in this because it's a very prickly plant and I don't want to touch it a lot so it's going to stay in here and it's calloused over so I'm not worried about anything going wrong with this guy being potted up. I think I want him a little bit higher. Just a little bit more here. Just want to make sure he's nice and secure. And I'll just let him do his thing and I'll probably put this in my front section of my space with the rest of the cacti gang. Well, not all, not all of them, but some of them are in there. And then let's go ahead and add a little bit more around. Get it nice and packed in there. Don't want it wiggling around. Have to send her a picture of this guy planted up. So leave it as is. It'll look like this. And now for the big ones. I ended up getting another cutting from Tanya, and it's about the same size. So this was one of them, and this is my newest one. So about the same size, and I have my biggest one here. So since I got another big one, I have the smallest one out of the three that I showed in the last haul, I'm giving it to Kira so she'll have two cuttings. And I'm going to plant all three up in my terracotta planter that is, I think, an 8-inch fern style planter. Now, I don't know how it's going to do because I would like to get this cutting really deep because there's no roots. So I have this guy here and... I'm going to get it nice and deep so that I can go ahead and get it nice and rounded in this planter without having any roots. And then in time, it'll all root up. So I think what I want to do is, without getting hurt, place it here. And I'm going to change the angle so you guys can see better. And I'm changing the point of view so you can see how I'm going to do this particular project. So as you see, there is no roots. But I'm going to get them nice and deep on the bottom. And then slowly, we'll just use this. Put a little bit more soil. And then once I get this big guy grounded, then I'm going to add my third piece. And I won't be touching these guys until who knows when. I don't know. The big cacti cuttings that she gave me last year, I may give my smallest piece away to one of my plant friends. We'll see. So we're just going to do it like this. And 
We'll check on it in a in a little bit. I think it works perfect. So I do have one more of this style planter in size. We'll see what I end up putting in that one. May have to put big cacti cuttings in it just so that they can be next to each other. So now that I have soil in here, I can go ahead and make some shifts here. But they are prickly, so watching myself here. I think they're absolutely stunning. Thank you, Tanya, for these beautiful euphoria cuttings. I've seen them in the nursery I went into yesterday and they are expensive the bigger they get. So I think this is probably easily $100 or $80 worth of cactus cuttings here. You could definitely, yeah, with all the nurseries I go to, this could be for sale for $80 easy. So I am definitely thankful for my trades here. So I think I like that there. What do you guys think? So I think I like it like this. And we'll move this here, just like that. So I think I'm going to leave. Yeah, I think this is gonna be good. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. So let me go ahead, clean up everything and wrap up the video. All right guys, so here is the quick overview of today's plant gang. Minus the Marble Queen postals that I will go ahead and fix up in a different video. So I have the cuttings that Tanya gave me up in a big terracotta planter here. I got three of them here. I'm giving the smaller one to Kira so she'll have two cuttings. And then I have the smaller cutting in here that Tanya gave me the other day. So these two are my newest cuttings from her. I also have the fire sticks that... Uh, Catherine gave me and I have it potted up in the cobalt blue and white planter that Kira gave me for my birthday. I have the birthday begonias from Kira potted up in the terracotta that the Marble Queen Poldos came out of. I have my repurchased African masks, my alocasia here. I have my strawberries and cream Hoya, my tricolor Hoya in my colored spray painted terracotta. I also have my Senecia raindrop in here and that is going to wrap up today's Planting with Julen and Plant Haul episode. you guys enjoy this Planting with Julen and Plant Haul and I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of my owl planter that I painted white yesterday and this is an owl planter that my mom gifted me a couple months ago and it's just been sitting on my potting bench and he was actually green but I did spray paint him white with my leftover paint that I had stored in my potting bench so i do not know what i want to put in it so if you guys have any idea what would match in this big owl planter there is a drainage hole in this let me know down in the comments below i think he's absolutely cute my mom got this for me because i am obsessed with owls um, but i wanted to share with you this cute planter and let me know in the comments below what do you think i should pot up in this planter so this is today's plant gang i hope you guys enjoyed this planting with julin and plant haul we got a lot of cuttings from friends uh birthday plants here as well as old and new plants potted up i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and found it inspiring if you haven't already subscribe to my channel for more plant related videos and other videos here and there that is not plant related and if you guys enjoyed this let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite plant featured in today's episode i had so much fun planting up today's babies and thank you guys for hanging out with me you can find more on my blog at elojulian.blogspot.com until next time aloha from santa monica bye <laughs>